Before we start, I would like to ask you to join me in recognizing the leadership that our elected officials here in the city of FAR have provided during this worldwide pandemic. I think it's arguably agreed that the city of FAR has been one of the most progressive and active cities throughout this worldwide pandemic, and it is because of the leadership of our city commissioners, Bobby Carillo, City Commissioner Eliasad Guajardo, City Commissioner Dr. Ramiro Caballero, City Commissioner Ricardo Medina, City Commissioner Daniel Chavez, City Commissioner Itza Flores, and of course, Far Mayor Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez. A round of applause, please. Again, we have hand sanitizer available. We are respecting the social distancing. Let me go ahead and introduce our city manager, Ed Wiley. Mr. Wiley, thank you, sir. Assistant city manager, Anali Alaniz. And assistant city manager, Hilda Pedraza. We also want to recognize PSJ school board member and FAR Economic Development Corporation director, Victor Perez. Mr. Perez. And PSJ school board member, where do you go, Carlos Villegas? Thank you, sir. Awesome. And we do have a list of other people uh, that we want to recognize throughout the process today. And this is the groundbreaking for the FAR International Bridge Port Infrastructure Projects. And as I said in the beginning, FAR has been one of the most progressive, active, and actually moving forward communities fighting during this worldwide pandemic. Right now, we would like for you to help us invite for the invocation, Father Amador Garza. Father? I just want to tell you a little story before I pray. Um, on the 27th of August, I drove to a place called Jalpa, Guanajuato, which is between San Miguel and Querétaro. And I took the Libramiento around Monterrey, and when the Laredo Highway hooked up to the Libramiento, I was completely surrounded by 18 wheelers all around me. And I began, I began to cuss them out. And after a while, once I got to the Saltillo Libramiento, and there was even more trucks, I'm on Highway 57, I realized I can't cuss them out. This is our lifeline, all of these trucks going north and south on Highway 57. Mm -hmm. So I asked God to forgive me, and I prayed for the traileros, okay? Um, if you have not traveled down that road of late, and I had not for about five years because of fear, I suppose, uh, I, um, I was so grateful to God. I didn't encounter any problems at all on the toll roads. Uh, all the way from, from Ansaldúas, where I crossed that morning. On the way back, I did cross here, okay? So Luis doesn't get mad at me. Hmm? But it was safe, 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 and I'm grateful to God for that. So I wanted to share that with you. I'm going to do a little bit of bilingual stuff here. Esto es el libro del Génesis. Y creó Dios al hombre y a la mujer a su imagen. A imagen de Dios los creó. Macho y hembra les creó. Dios les bendijo diciéndoles, sean fecundos y multiplíquense. Llenen la tierra y sometanla. Manden a los peces del mar, a las aves del cielo y a cuanto animal vive en la tierra. Dijo Dios, Yo les entrego todo esto para que ustedes se alimenten, toda clase de hierbas, de semillas y toda clase de árboles frutales, a los animales salvajes, a las aves de los cielos y a cuanto ser viviente se mueve en la tierra, les doy para que coman pasto verde. Y así fue. Vio Dios que todo cuanto había hecho era muy bueno y atardeció y amaneció el día sexto. Love 
loving Creator, as we gather this morning, we are mindful of the many gifts you have bestowed upon us and how you granted us stewardship over the goods of creation. We implore your grace and blessings on the work that takes place at this port of entry that connects the United States to its southern neighbors. May increased commerce between our countries also foster the ties of blood that connect and the primary tie that we share as daughters and sons of God. We ask you to bless and protect all the women and men who will work on this wonderful project. Bless the work of our hands. Bless the work of our hands. And may all we do and say be to the greater honor and glory of God. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And may Almighty God's blessing descend upon this project, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Father Amador Garza. Please be seated. And again, thank you for joining us for this groundbreaking ceremony for the port infrastructure projects of the FAR International Bridge. As we mentioned before the Father arrived on stage, we owe so much to our leadership here in the city of FAR for the direction that they have taken us through this worldwide pandemic and allowed us to succeed and allowed us to progress. And here for comments on today's ceremony and the overall situation here in the city of FAR, please welcome FAR Mayor Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez. Mayor. Good morning, buenos días, todos bienvenidos. Este, today's a wonderful day for the city of Far on many fronts. So uh, we're going to have a couple of people step up here, including Luis Bazan. Uh, but none of this could have been achieved without, I have to say, with our employees. We have, starting with the city manager, assistant city manager, our engineer, everybody who, who pulls together to get this job done. On the political side, we know that uh, politics is the fastest way to get anything done. So we're very grateful for Cindy Garza and for helping us move forward the projects that need to be about to be introduced to you right now. So in 2015, when the uh, uh, new administration took over, we built upon the success that was present. We needed to be sure that we uh, planned for the future and made sure that the city of FAR was progressive and ensure that the people using the International Bridge knew that we were the International Bridge of choice for customer service and for speed, of course. So one of the best things that has happened since that time is that we took off with the DAP program, the Donation Acceptance Program that was put by the federal government. It was a pilot program, never been done anywhere. We were essentially the guinea pigs. It was put into play. It was a little stuck in the system, but thank you for uh, Congressman who helped us push it through in Ahosa. Congressman Ahosa pushed it through, helped us move it along because they needed that extra push. That's the historical perspective of it. What did this do? It allowed us to partner with the government so we can expand our bridge. Why do we want to expand our bridge? Because we have a lot of business, and we knew that going forward, we would have more business. We wanted to grow the infrastructure for South Far, which means all the state of Texas would benefit and the nation. The DAP program is, by any means, a huge success for this nation, not just for the city of Far, but for the nation. So I'm very excited that it happened. Our commission has been very aggressive in helping you, the brokers, the people that drive, and uh, the semis, and move commerce back and forth on additional fronts. Some of the projects that we we're referring to is going to amount to about $40 million. We also had local partners, and this included the state legislators. So with us is State Representative Senator Munoz, Jr. Of course, Chuy Hinojosa was also in Senator Lucio helped us push our projects forward to 11B riders. All this taken together contributed quite a bit of money to our area. And we did it again with the great leadership under our city manager, engineer, our bridge board, Luis Bassan, everybody coming together and putting in the entire documentation that was necessary to prove our point, that we were the bridge of choice and we needed the resources to make our nation better and commerce better. So not only have we been as a commission, because it takes the entire family to do it, this commission not only has been able to bring you $40 million in infrastructure, remember there's also what's coming to help you move commerce in a safe, reliable way. We also spearheaded the 281 exchange. That's over a $300 million project that's gonna start this 
very soon actually, within a couple of months, it should be breaking ground. In addition to that, we have also moved forward on the IBTC. That's a freeway that starts here, Military Road, goes east to the expressway. We'll jump over the expressway on Highway 68 to end up north on North 281 underneath the, underneath the airport in that ge geographical area. So if you add that kind of money, plus the 365 toll that starts again here at our port of entry and goes west to serve the great cities of McAllen and Mission, because there are our partners in international commerce. They're great partners, but we need to make sure they get their commerce moving. We did this as a commission because we knew that although commerce is extremely important for our survival, for this economy, we need to protect our citizens. We can no longer accept having semis next to our school buses next to our vehicles is too dangerous. But we can work side by side, and that's why this endeavor was undertaken. So when you look at what the city commission has been able to do using our state leaders, our federal leaders, including Senator Cornyn, right, who's been uh, instrumental for us, Ted Cruz as well, when, when you look at what they've been able to do and you do the math, they really have brought in, under this leadership, over $500 million of infrastructure to the geographical boundaries of the city of FAR. That's half a billion dollars to serve this area. Not only will the city of FAR will benefit, but again, this great county and state and the nation truly will benefit from it for generations to come. So I just wanted you guys to know that you have a great commission, you have great leaders at the state level that are always looking out for you, the people who are moving commerce back and forth, that are saving our country when we need jobs, we need to be sure everybody has food on their table in a safe manner. We think about you guys every day and we prove it. You know, we actually put much effort into it and now you're gonna see it. In the next five years, you'll see more things rolling out, including our, what I call the bug lab, the entomology lab, an $8 million investment. We're gonna have it here and far. So every product gets to move faster rather than being stuck, right? We don't want it stuck. Time is money, we need you to move it. So we're gonna have those bugs checked out quickly for you so you can move your product. And that's strategic planning. And that's what this commission does with our city employees. And that's why I'm so proud of this success of this story, because it could not have been done without a great commission, great employees. The mayor's only one. It's really you guys that do it. And I just want you guys to know that that's why I'm most proud of, of how our city comes together. So with that, thank you for letting me commentary, and you guys have a great day. Thank you, Mayor. Keep that applause going for the Mayor's leadership, also the support he gets from our city commissioners, our administrators, and staff. At this time, we do want to recognize Edgar Delgadillo. He is the chairman of the FAR International Bridge Board. Edgar? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we do want to welcome State Representative Sergio Munoz, as well as our representative that is with the office of Senator John Cornyn. Representative Sergio Munoz has been very accessible to the city of FAR. He's one of our biggest allies, not only in Austin, but also in Washington. And he's going to come and join us right now to give you some comments about today's event and the impact it's going to make on the quality of life of the future, not only of FAR, but the great state of Texas. Representative? Hi, Doug. Good morning. Uh, buenos dias. Uh, one, I just want to thank uh, the city of FAR and the mayor for the invitation uh, to be with you on this occasion and really just echo what we heard already from uh, Dr. Hernandez, the mayor, and how he puts it is, is extremely important for each and every one of us here because we can all do our part to make this a great success and that's exactly what's happening uh, today with the projects and everything that is being laid in the foundation going forward. Um, the thing about Dr. Hernandez and the commission is that they talk a lot about appreciating the people around them and that's extremely important because they're able to empower each and every person to do their job and to do the best that they can and serve to the best of their ability. And that's really what is also something that we truly admire because they're willing to push and encourage every single person uh, to put their piece to the puzzle to make sure that it's a great success. So with their vision, the vision of Dr. Hernandez, the commission, and really for us on behalf of the state, we're truly grateful to be a part of the project of all the things that are gonna happen going forward, working with our federal partners as well. Mention the program about the donations from private business as well. We have that on the state as well with the Ag Inspector Program when we work with the city of FAR to make sure that that could be a success and making sure that we have private business also 
wanting to invest and make that uh, move commerce uh, a lot more uh, efficiently here within our ports of entry. So on behalf of our office, we just want to say thank you for giving us an opportunity to work with you, Mayor, uh, City Commission, hand in hand, uh, with Luis and everybody here on the bridge, and really with the whole city of FAR to make sure that we continue to do things to make business uh, move more efficiently, to improve the quality of life, not only here in the city of FAR, but throughout the Rio Grande Valley and really the state of Texas. And that's something that we constantly have to remind our colleagues, not only on the state level, but on the federal level, that everything that comes through our ports of entry is not only benefiting, benefiting us here in the city of Far and the Rio Grande Valley, but really we're the gateway uh, to the rest of the nation. And um, everybody who's enjoying uh, guacamole on Super Bowl or anything like that really uh, needs to remember that it's coming here uh, through the Far Port of Entry, right? So uh, we can't uh, let them forget that. Among many other great things that are happening with manufacturing, with other products that move back and forth. So just congratulations and thank you, and we look forward to our continued partnership in terms of working to better. Thank you, Mayor, City Commission, and thank you, the City of Far, for everything that you're doing. Congratulations. Thank you, State Representative Seto Munoz, Jr. Uh, as uh, the representative mentioned, there's a lot of funding that goes on that comes to our area here, and it, believe it or not, starts and stops with the census. So. If you haven't taken the time to fill out your census questionnaire, please do so before the deadline because the impact and the meaning is so profound that we cannot overstate it. So census 2020 is something that we all need to take serious and we all need to make sure that we get done for our future here. We also want to recognize Ana Garcia. She's the regional director for U.S. Senator John Cornyn's office. Ana, thank you for being here as well as Far International Bridge Board Vice Chairman Tony Martinez. Tony, thank you so much. And now please welcome the Director of the Far International Bridge for comments regarding today's ceremony. Please help me welcome Mr. Luis Bazan. Thank you, Gary. And thank you, Mayor, and thank you, State Representative Munoz, for all of your comments. It's a hard act to follow after they come on, on here and they pretty much sum it all up. But I do have a little bit of a, a few comments here and a little bit of a background story on how this whole thing started. So I'll start with this. Uh, I am thankful for my struggles with, because without them, I wouldn't have stumbled upon my strengths. You know, this is one of my favorite quotes and I've always used it, but it couldn't hold more meaning and more truth than today. Indeed, these projects we are about to break ground on have been a challenge and a struggle. But here we are today, finally, and we're stronger than ever amidst the current circumstances. We had our ups and we had our downs and shared frustrations along the way with all of the reviews, all the concurrences with GSA, with CBP, us, with city management, making sure that we were all on the same page. But the hard work is about to pay off. Five years and right over three months, mas o menos, have gone by since the city of FAR signed an MOU with CBP and GSA under the Donations Acceptance Program to embark on this journey. And here we are today about to take the first step to the future of the FAR Port of Entry. We've made it this far and have accomplished this much anticipated milestone, but the real work begins now. And as I know, as of Tuesday, we're on the clock, so we need to start <laughs> working on this ASAP. I remember sitting down for lunch with CBP uh, back in summer of 2014. I was only about six months into my position here at the bridge as industrial development manager, and uh, it was then that I was introduced to the DAP program by CBP. Uh, I read all the materials. I remember sitting down with Fred, uh, did a little bit more research, talked about projects that we had been talking about, as the, as the mayor mentioned. We had been talking about these projects for many years, and the reason why this donations program was, was created was that so we could accelerate things and get things on the ground faster. If not, it would take the federal government 15, 20 years to do so. Uh, so needless to say, as they say, the rest is history. Uh, we had just finished wrapping up a, a board meeting, I recall, and thank you, uh, Mr. Delgadillo, thank you, Mr. Martinez, for being here today as well. Uh, and uh, I got a phone call from the CBP DAP chief in DC, and he was excited as I was because he said, you know what, City of Far submitted a very solid proposal for DAP projects, and it was the first of its kind. So what did that do? That kind of paved the way. It was a trendsetter for the rest of the region for other projects in the region. 
So we're very proud of that. And again, we couldn't have done it without the leadership and the support that we have here today with our mayor and the city commission, uh, our state representatives, uh, our congressmen, and everyone else. But it's one thing to sign an agreement, and it's another to take that agreement and run with it and make it happen. It takes leadership and the vision to get things done. And I just want to take this moment to thank our mayor, Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez, for always believing in the projects, for always keeping my team and I on our toes, and for possessing that drive, that sense of urgency to help us accomplish our goals. Thank you, Mayor, for allowing us to do our work and for helping us see this through. We would not be here if it weren't for you and your steadfast leadership, and we can't thank you enough. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity, as the mayor mentioned, none of this would be possible without the leadership of our city management. Mr. Ed Wiley, thank you for also allowing us, uh, Ms. Anali uh, Alaniz and Ms. Hilda Pedraza, our assistant city managers, for giving us that opportunity once a month during CIP meetings to update them on, on what's going on with these projects as any other city project, and also to keep us on our toes, to make sure that we're all on the same page and we're all speaking the same language when it comes to these projects. I want to thank our board of directors also for always believing in us, for being by, with us throughout the thick, the thin, and through all the ups and downs, as I mentioned. Our trade associations, both in Mexico and the U.S., there's too many to name, so I'm not going to, but thank you very much. Uh, to the Mexican federal government also for sticking by us and believing in these projects. And overall, our customers. If you look to the left over there, there's a lot of trucks coming through. And as, as, our, as our father mentioned, as the mayor mentioned, this is our lifeblood. You know, so to see traffic on the bridge right now, that's movement of goods, that is commerce, that is international trade, and that is business overall, means we're conducting business. So to see trucks on the bridge right now, that's a good thing. And we shouldn't be complaining about it, because I know sometimes we complain about long lines and wait times and things of that nature, but that's why we're putting these projects on the ground, to eliminate wait times and to make this port of entry the, most, the fastest, the most secure, and most efficient port of entry, starting with the state and then moving forward into the nation. Uh, with that, I'd like to talk about a few more projects real quick. So if you look to the left also, we've done some construction and expansion to our bridge offices. We've taken about a year to do that. We're going to be going into phase two, so it's still a, we're already in there, but and if you, if you want to take a, a look at the building, you can do so afterwards. We'll take into consideration all the CDC guidelines to do so in a safe manner. But we're going to start phase two very quickly here in the next couple of months of that project. Further down the road, the DAP 16 project. These are the DAP 15 projects, the two northbound commercial entry lanes and boots and the two uh, northbound exit lanes and boots. But next year, we're going to go, be going out to bid for the DAP 16 projects. As the mayor mentioned, we're going to have an, agri uh, an agriculture lab and, and labor uh, laboratory and training center for future entomologists. Also, we're going to be expanding the dock and our cold inspection facilities. And even more important than that, something that's kind of taken priority here in the last few months, and we started with Mexico, is the expansion of this bridge. So as you know, commerce is here, commerce is here to stay. The numbers speak for themselves. If you look at our numbers, you know, we're crossing over $36 billion in trade as of 2019. Every year we grow by about a billion dollars or more in trade, and that's only going to continue. So we need to have that expansion of the bridge. Four more lanes of bridge, we will now be able to dedicate lanes for certified cargo, for empties, and anything else that comes our way. We continue to be the number one produce bridge in the nation. We're very proud of that. But we also cross the automotive sector, the, uh, the energy sector, technology, and more importantly now, I think one of, the, one of the recent sectors that we're crossing through this bridge is the construction. So we're crossing a lot of steel and a lot of plastics through this bridge as well. So please keep an eye out for that. I also want to take this time to invite everyone. October 8th, we're going to be having another ceremony here. We have it every year. It's the start of the produce season. I just mentioned we're the number one produce bridge in the nation. We're crossing almost 70% of the nation's produce. So every year for the last six, seven years, We've, made a we've done a ceremony here celebrating the initiation of this produce season that kicks off in October. So I want to welcome everyone here in October in this same, same place, same area, to, to, to celebrate with us at the start of the produce season. Um, with that, again, I just want to thank everyone for making it out. And as I always like to finish, you know, when I, when I speak up here, you know, we are the Far International Bridge, and we're investing big for faster trade as we continue to be your essential connection, your essential business and your essential bridge. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bazan. Now, if you'll join Mr. Bazan, and he will lead us to the groundbreaking. But before we leave, I do want to invite you to 
come back and join us. We always have top-notch catering here at All City of Far Events. How about a round of applause for Carmen's Catering? She has uh, tacos for you and great drinks, and um, we are going to proceed with today's groundbreaking ceremony. Thank you so much. God bless you, and God bless the City of Far.